good to see you back again. Uh, this is Coach Priebus with the Virginia Wrestling Association. And I want to first off thank everybody for watching episode one of Getting the Edge. Uh, goal setting. I've gotten a lot of great feedback, very positive feedback from people. So I hope that today's uh, discussion on an action plan will generate the same kind of discussion in, in comments. I will leave my email address at the end of the video so you can contact me with any questions, comments, or concerns. All right, so today we are going to focus on something called an action plan and why we need to write an action plan for wrestling. And very simply put, an action plan is a detailed plan of what we are going to do to accomplish a goal. All right, for wrestling, it's going to help shape and focus your training around your major goals. Whatever they are, uh, our action plan will have it written down. If you're anything like me, you need to have things in front of you that you can review. I like writing down uh, my goals and my lesson plans. I, I like going into uh, something being organized. And, and really, the action plan is going to organize that for you. What we need to talk about real quick first are the components and then the benefits of having an action plan. Um, and, and there are six components to the action plan that, uh, that I'll discuss very brief. Okay, so number one, the first component is a well-defined description of the goal to be achieved. In wrestling terms, that's probably going to be a performance goal and it's going to be your season-ending goal. Simple. Okay. Step two, the second component is tasks and steps that need to be carried out into, in order to reach that goal. These are your weekly, your monthly process and performance goals. So there are steps to reach that goal. We need to have them outlined for us. Uh, third component, people that are, who are going to be in charge of carrying out each task. Obviously, most of it's going to be on the wrestler, but we need to make sure that we integrate our teammates, our peers, our coaches, our families, so they have an idea of what's going on and they can lend a hand and support. Uh, number four is a time frame of when these tasks need to be completed. And you can look at your schedule, you can look at your, your practice calendar, whatever, for deadlines and milestones. The fifth component are resources uh, needed to complete your tasks. And this is where we step out of the box a little bit. It's not just the, the wrestling aspect of it, but maybe what are you doing for conditioning? What's your nutrition like? Um, what, what are your sleep habits like? What, what's your weight cutting situation like? So what are those resources? Who's going to help you with that? And then finally, number six is uh, measurements to evaluate your progress. So periodically, we need to take a look at our, our process and our performance goals along the way and see whether or not we are making progress towards that ultimate goal. Um, and if not, we need to adjust. If we're making too much progress, they're too easy, then we need to adjust our, our plan. The next step, well, not really a step, but next idea, benefits of the action plan, okay? Why do you need to have an action plan? Don't your coaches do that for you? That's kind of what we do during the season, right? Yes and no. Uh, the action plan is something that the individual can do, can produce to help guide their progress throughout the season. It's gonna give you a clear direction of what you want to accomplish by the end of the season, by the end of the year. So it, it really focuses you. Uh, it highlights exactly what steps you need to take and when they need to be completed so you have an idea of everything that you're going to need to do to reach that final goal. You know, Having your goals written down and planned out in steps will give you a reason to stay motivated and committed throughout the project. I, I need to constantly see my goals when I'm planning a training program. I need to see what I'm doing on Monday and what I expect to get out of it and so on and so on. It's very important to have that in front of me. It reminds us of what we're doing. And since we're listing all the steps that we need to complete in our action plan, it's going to help you prioritize the task based on the effort and the impact as well as the importance of it. So it, it really compartmentalizes what you're going to do and focuses your training so you're not grasping at straws. 
a little more detail on our steps. Step one, define your end goal. Okay, most likely this is going to be your end of the high school season goal. Um, maybe if it's freestyle Greco season, uh, your goal is going to be something about Fargo, making a world team. Okay, so make sure that, that it is something usually performance-based. Uh, we need to have a time frame. If it's the state tournament, obviously then it's going to be during the high school season. Okay, if it's something different, list that time frame. And define it as a SMART goal, what we talked about last time. Step two, okay, list down all of the steps that need to be followed. These are going to be your monthly and weekly goals. These are process and performance goals. Again, use the SMART, uh, SMART goal model to write down those weekly and monthly goals. Be thorough with your goals. Think about every little aspect. Think about um, technique goals. Think about conditioning goals. Think about strength goals. Think about nutrition goals. You should probably have some sort of goal, uh, monthly goal for, for each of those. Okay, and get feedback from your coaches, get input from your coaches and those that you trust to uh, help you out with uh, organizing um, the steps to be followed. All right, step three, prioritize the tasks and, and add deadlines. Define the most important goals of the season, uh, both process and performance goals. Obviously, you know, we're going to look at those performance goals. Maybe you have a big tournament in December, maybe one in January, and then in February, it's going to be that end of the season goal. Um, but also include process goals. You know, what are the important process goals for you to accomplish? If you've had problems in the past finishing certain takedowns, that's got to be in there. That has to be a process goal. If getting off the bottom is an issue, then that definitely needs to be a process goal. If your conditioning is not good, make sure that, it, that you have something that reflects your conditioning, what you're doing outside of practice to improve your conditioning. Okay, You can also use your school's wrestling schedule, your club's wrestling schedule for those deadlines to get a concrete date. All right, That definitely helps. Um, step number four, set milestones. Okay, these are looking at our, our monthly uh, performance and process goals. Obviously, you want to look at your performance in a big tournament. Say, I keep going back to the Beast of the East. Say the Beast of the East is one of your milestone goals, placing at the Beast of the East. We can look back at that and say, did you accomplish it or not? If the answer is no, well, what did we, what did we miss? What did we lack? What didn't we do? What do we need to do better? And the same with your process goals. If you're still having issues getting off the bottom, then we need to adjust that process goal. What are things that you can do to improve that, that process goal? There's always things that we can do to improve. And that kind of leads us into step number five, which is identify uh, resources needed to help you. So this is like additional training, your nutrition, um, your weight cut, Okay, so we need to identify those resources, who's going to help you plan your, your extra workouts, what are your extra workouts going to be, um, who's going to help you with nutrition. And one of my future episodes of this series is going to be on nutrition, where it's going to kind of give you a basic idea of what wrestlers need to do, what I eat as my personal diet, which may be different because I'm a lot older, but you get where I'm coming from. So what additional training do you need to do to supplement your, your work, your progress? Um, how can you improve nutritional habits? How can you make your weight cut not such a big deal? So that's step number five, identifying those resources. And then finally, step number six is monitor, evaluate, and update uh, all of the little goals leading up to that, that big, huge performance goal. Okay, At the end of each week, what are you doing to evaluate your process goals. Are you sitting down with your coaches and saying, okay, you know, this is what my, this is what my goals were for the week. What do you think? How do you think I did on these? What do I need to improve on? And also sit down with yourself and, and add feedback. Again, put all this in your journal. That's gonna help. You know, seeking feedback from coaches, from, from parents, from peers, definitely gonna help. You know, talk to your teammates like, hey, how do my, uh, how do my stand-ups look? You know, and be honest with me, you know, am I, not, am I not beating the whistle? What am I not doing? What am I doing good? And also be honest with yourself to adjust your goals. 
If they are too easy, then we need to establish some different goals that are going to challenge you to keep you um, working harder. Okay. Um, if you're not meeting those goals, then you absolutely need to look at them and adjust, see what's going wrong, see what you're not doing right. And this all needs to be written down so you can constantly look at it and, um, and adjust and, and just put effort through, okay? Just going through this process is gonna get you to think about how you can jump levels. It's not just about practicing harder, it's about practicing smarter, okay? And the action plan is gonna help you really detail what you need to do to get to that next level. Um, I'm also gonna put a link up here at the end for a template that I have um, for an action plan that you can, you can download and fill out yourself, okay? Um, I think it's important to add that to your journal. So again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, my email is going to be up on, on the screen at the end. Please, please, please hit me up with an email. Um, even if you say, hey, this is great stuff, or even if you think this is awful, you know, I, I want to hear what you have to say about uh, getting an edge and what, what you want to see, okay? Because we can always expand further and add things. So we talked about um, developing an action plan. It was real brief. I know I kind of ran through it. Um, feel free to stop the video, pause, go back and listen again uh, to get those details. Um, download my, my plan. I'll put it in the, uh, in the YouTube part so you can actually click on it as well as putting it on the screen. That way you have two ways of, of getting um, the template. All right? And I will see you guys again very soon. Continue to enjoy these videos and be safe out there. This is Coach Prebish. I'm out.